what's up guys so because i missed yesterday's video i'm doing a second one today um so i thought i would kind of do something that's kind of relevant to right now um so yesterday was the last game uh state of origin game um queensland won like there was any doubt though um but a couple of my friends came over um watched the game with me we had you know, we went and bought pizza had pizza watched the game and then afterwards we played a game of cards against humanity so it was just kind of like a chilled night with a couple of friends um but after i left i got i started thinking like there's got to be more games than just cards against humanity for like people like me um to have at kind of like parties and get-togethers and you know entice friends to actually travel a half hour to come and see you um so i did a quick search on google found some uh, I did, I searched, I think it was adult games, adult board games or something like that, um, and found a whole list of things. There was an extensive list on my phone, which I'm obviously using to make this video, so I can't just read from the list, um, but one of them that I remember the name of, um, it's called Suddenly Drunk, uh, and it sounds really fun, um. So basically, it's just additional cards that you can kind of add into, um, make a game of cards against humanity a little, like it raises the stakes a bit. It doesn't add new cards, it's not an expansion pack. It's a completely kind of separate game, but it works in conjunction with any other board game that you're playing. Um, so it has here, um... Uh, suddenly drunk transforms any turn-based board or card game into a lively drinking game for three to eight players which is good because you can't play cards against humanity it, it says on the side of the box you need a minimum of four players so this already works extremely well um, um, it's great for simple party games like cards against humanity or jenga but can be played with any game um, Integrating it uh, with the game of your choice is simple. Before every turn, each player p uh, first pulls a card from a suddenly drunk deck and follows its instructions. The deck consists of instant cards and any time cards. Instant cards may require players to speak with a foreign accent or dance whenever they get up from the table and take a drink as a penalty whenever they fail to do so. Any time cards are generally handy for self-defense. The, def the deflection card, for instance, lets players choose a new target for any action played against them. And then there's some examples just there if you want to go ahead and um, pause the video and try it. try your best to read them I will try and hold this as still as possible but I think that's a bit blurry um, so the first red one up here says bartender uh, you must fetch everyone's uh, drinks until someone else draws a bartender card so obviously if someone finishes their drink, that person then has to go fill up their cup, um, or get them a new can, or whatever. Um, one called third person, you must speak in the third person for the rest of the game, uh, drink for every time you're called out, so obviously saying your name instead of I want to, or let me do it, so you have to like, you know, speak in the third person. Um, and another instant is a mini game called Thumb Master. To start the game at any time, um, nonchalantly place your thumb on the edge of the table. The last person to notice and place their thumb on the table um, loses and must finish their drink. So basically, that card is just putting a bit of King's Cup in to Cards Against Humanity. And yeah. Um, and then there's another instant here that says Marriage. Pick another player to marry each time. Each time you must drink, they also drink, but each time they drink, you also drink. Uh, finished drink counts as just drink to spouses. So, and then there's any time cards as well. There's an, the one called Exorcism, which removes one rule from yourself. Deflection, um, you pass it on to another player. Uh, stockpile, you keep the next instant card that you, uh, that you draw, so you can hold on to it, you don't get rid of it. Um, and then thinking with foils, pick two people and swap any one rule in effect between them. 
um, and then there's other expansion packs as well. There's a, a sexy expansion, is, is what the pink one's called on this side, and the purple one here is called the hardcore expansion. Um, so here, sexy ex uh, expansion adds raunchy games into the mix. So I'm guessing that means like things like skin the bottle, bottle strip poker, or something like that. Um, and then the the hardcore expansion offer tougher rules and tougher penalties. So you have to take a whole shot instead of just sip with a drink or, um, and then you can kind of shuffle all of them in together, um, and it, yeah, it raises the stakes of Cards Against Humanity, um, just a little bit, um, so, yeah, so it was one of the ones that I found, and I was like, yeah, that's, that's really kind of cool, I'm looking forward to this, um, I will try to kind of do reviews of all of these at some point, all the ones on my list at some point, um, but as I said, it's on my phone and I can't really remember it until I transfer that list onto this. Uh, and once I do so, we'll have like a whole month's worth of uh, videos just there alone. Um, I will try to spread them out a bit though, so that it makes, uh, uh, it makes it a little bit less clustered with just games. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, um, or have tried that game, um, please give this video a thumbs up. If you've tried the game, please leave me a comment down below um, uh, what games you've played it with um, and which ones you think it works best with. Um, if you haven't, leave me a comment down below of how, f how much fun you think that looks um, because it does say it's a drinking game. It doesn't force you to drink alcohol, however, so I'm seeing a loophole that I'm going to exploit like nothing else. Um, and yeah, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button as I make new videos every single day. Um, and until next time guys, keep raising hell.